Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. Today I have prepared two very easy questions for you. This is true false questions. And here is the first question. In species in which females are homogametic sex, gender of the offspring is determined by the male. Is it true or false? If you're confused which answer to choose, here is my explanation. So as you know, uh, genotype of the female would be XX and uh, male's genotype would be XY. So female can uh, give this X chromosome, male can give this X chromosome. So gametes would be haploid and they would join to make a zygote. So genotype would be XX. So uh, progeny would be, uh, as you see, a female here. And here is another variant that uh, this female would give this X chromosome and this male would give this X chromosome. Once again, genotype would be XX in this scenario. Yet another variant that a female would give this X chromosome in X cell and male would give uh, this Y chromosome. So the genotype would be XY and this is going to be a male and the last variant that is possible here would be that female would give this X chromosome and male would give this Y chromosome. So the genotype would be XY. So as you see 50% of the progeny would be females and 50% uh, of the progeny would be males. This is XY sex determination system. In this system male sperm can be of the two kinds where the uh, in the gametes there can be X chromosome or Y chromosome. So male sperm determines the sex of the progeny. As you see in XY sex determination system, um, female would be homogametic or would have uh, sex chromosomes that is uh, of the same kind and males would be heterogametic so can produce two kinds of gametes. But there are also different sex determination system exist. For example, in birds, we call a sex determination system ZW. And in that sex determination system, females would be heterogametic and male would be homogametic. So in birds, female defines the sex of the progeny. But uh, in our example, in XY sex determination system, where females are homogametic, sex would be defined by the two types of gametes that male can produce. So uh, the correct answer would be A. And um, next question, a female with uh, androgen insensitivity may have XY sex chromosomes rather than XX. And this is true. Imagine that uh, genotype of the person X, Y. So we know that this is going to be a male. So chromosomes would look uh, like this. Large X chromosome and small Y chromosome. And what defines the sex? Actually, of course, Y chromosome. But if to be specific, there is uh, such a locus on the Y chromosome that we call SRY or sex determining region on the Y chromosome that defines maleness. Uh, this region contains a gene that affects a level of uh, male sex hormone production and if uh, this gene would be damaged then this hormone wouldn't be produced and those genotype would be XY this uh, person would be uh, female. Phenotypically would be female, those genotypically would be male. Another scenario when uh, such person can have two normal chromosomes and still uh, would be phenotypically female, those uh, genotypically would be male, when uh, those uh, all the genes would be normal and male sex hormones would be produced but cells that has 
special receptors on the surface uh, would be insensitive to these hormones because these receptors, uh, that is also proteins, would be inactive because uh, the genes that is responsible for coding of these surface proteins would be damaged, would be uh, mutated or uh, would have uh, some deletions. So those uh, genotype of the person could be XY, his both uh, sex chromosomes could be uh, perfectly normal, but because the receptors three-dimensional structure would be affected with uh, such mutation, such re receptors would be non-active and hormones wouldn't be able to change how uh, these uh, cells behave and gender of uh, genotypically XY person would be female. So basically two mechanisms exist. One would be damaged SRY gene on the Y chromosome. Another one would be damaged uh, gene on the autosome that codes for the receptors that are sensitive to the presence of the uh, male's hormones. So as you see, a female with androgen insensitivity may have XY sex chromosomes rather than XX, and this is true. Genotypically, this is going to be male, but phenotypically, this is going to be a female. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.